Well, what I had was, was lovely, and I've mopped up the rest. Elizabeth will be pleased, actually, you'll probably be pleased to see somebody clearing up after themselves. Because I, I bet at times, I mean, your, one of your jobs here over the last couple of weeks has been to put up the, uh, uh, the exhibition that, w- that we're here to talk about today. And Elizabeth, I bet there are times when you've looked around that gallery or those galleries and thought, oh my goodness gracious me, it's never going to happen. Yeah, it's always a bit of a frantic couple of weeks installing with there being so many works and um, different works by different artists. It can be quite busy and challenging at times, but it always gets there and it's looking good now. Ready it's to looking go. really good, actually. A gallery, the big gallery over there, and I, I can never remember the gallery numbers, but there's, there's still a few bits of hammering going on in one of the galleries over there. These are finishing touches? Yeah, so today, um, final touches to things, um, installations that are going in and just tidying, mopping up, getting, making sure all the numbers are there and we're ready to go for sales tonight. And it's huge. I mean, anybody, I, I don't know actually how it compares in terms of, uh, you know, other regional, big regional art galleries, but the 2020 open exhibition uh, previews tonight, opens to the public tomorrow effectively, and then runs through to the 26th of April at the Ferrans Art Gallery. And I've seen this event grow uh, over years, and I, I don't know whether that's just to a, a resurgence in the interest in art and hands-on creativity, or whether it's the good work that you guys at the Ferrans do. I mean, have you got a theory why we're getting more entries these days? Well, since it's been online, we've certainly got a broader um, submission. This year, we've been really fortunate in having artists submit from all over the country. So as well as the usual local interests, we've had works from right the way from Glasgow down to Somerset and everywhere in between. Um, So that's been really great to see. And I think that is to do with it being digital and getting the word out there via social media and through um, uh, marketing online. And and prizes don't need to be huge. I mean, actually, I've got no idea what kind of prizes you've got this year. I mean, typically, there's a student's prize. There's a Friends of the Ferrans, sort of first, second and third, that kind of idea and the, the amounts of money are, are modest uh, so people are not just entering because they want to make a few quid necessarily. No it's about being part of it and being able to actually see your work in the gallery and alongside all the other artists and our wonderful collection as well so it's part of being part of something in the city that's really exciting for people I think. Yeah I'm, I'm glad you said that thing about people from around the country entering and I because I'd noticed that in the past but of course I'd forgotten about the, the, the digital submission thing you mentioned there Elizabeth is a compar- comparatively sort of new innovation for, for lots of people with uh, putting on exhibitions and if that does open it up a bit that's fantastic does it having said that conversely I'm still meeting people who who say to me I didn't enter this year because I can't get my head around the digital submission thing yeah, we do come up against um, that as an issue um, and we do have our technical problems as, as I'm sure everyone does. Um, so we put on workshops, IT workshops to try and combat that and encourage artists um, to, who aren't as familiar with digital submissions to still be able to get, come in and have a bit of time with um, an artist who will show them how to photograph their work and get online. I've only had the quickest flick round because uh, we've got here at half eleven so it's a quick dash, dash, dash. So I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time here over the next couple of months looking at stuff. But there are some very impressive big bits of work. Uh, there are inevitably some smaller bits as well. There's some lovely portraits. You've got landscapes. You've got a lot of photography. You've got abstract works. You've got that one that caught my eye. I mean, it's not going to catch everybody's eye, but it's like a triptych. It's like three big strips of, of hanging paper that you would think is, they're just black or they've been scribbled on or coloured in, 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 in black. But actually, there's very clever writing and textures in there as well. So uh, what do we know about that? That was number 320, I think I wrote down somewhere. Uh, you have, yeah, that's your copy here. That's the copy that's not written on. 320 is who? So 320 is a work by Colette Young, and it's called Ruin Lust. So that's a mixed media work, like you say, a large triptych work. Uh, you can't buy that. It's not for sale. No, unfortunately that one isn't, but lots of them are. Yeah. And I mentioned earlier when I was talking to, to our friend Bernsey there before we came on the radio that the, the prices start reasonably modestly, you know, for, for 50 quid or whatever, and then go up to some of them here, even looking at where your, your thing has fallen open here. You've got uh, uh, Joey Richardson, a, a flutter is that, in wood, 3,800. So there, there are, you've got it, the kind of both ends of the extremes there, but if you want to pick up a bit of uh, good art, it doesn't have to cost you thousands. That's right, there's works in here, I think the um, lowest price this year is £30 and there's everything right up to sort of 12000 I think is the most expensive and everything in between so there's, there's a real really good mix of um, picking up affordable original art definitely. We're going to chat to some of the artists, I think we've got three coming in during the course of the day so I look forward to that uh, but Elizabeth, I mean I'll give you a chance to catch your breath obviously because you know you've only just yeah. started putting this one up or finished putting this one up, what's next and what other stuff uh, are the Ferrans working on at the moment? So after our open exhibition, um, we've got two exhibitions coming up. One, Gruner, um, which 
we're getting a wonderful loan um, from the Royal Collection Trust, and that's the fourth of five loans that we'll be oh, having, yeah. a series of loans, yeah. so we're looking forward to that one. And then our family show this year is called Brick by Brick, and that's um, a number of international Lego artists, um, so another one for the families. And when's really that? Exciting. That starts in May and runs right the way through the summer until September. Fantastic. So you've got loads of stuff to, going on at the Ferrans we can talk about during the course of the day. Uh, the web address, if people want to check you out online. I know. I get that all the time when I say to people, your web address, that kind of, oh my God, he's asking me the web address thing now. I bought you a few seconds to think about it. What's your web address? Yeah. So um, if you go www.hc and L um, slash Ferrans, you can find us on there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, at Ferrans Art Gallery. Uh, Facebook is uh, slash Hull Museums. You'll find it if you want to. I mean, I just this morning just searched uh, Ferrans Gallery Hull and loads of info came up and you'll be able to click through easily enough from there. So uh, uh, just to reinforce the, the exhibition uh, that we're talking about, the open exhibition doesn't open to the public till tomorrow. Tomorrow is the preview night tonight. You'll have had an invite to that if you're coming along. Uh, then you'll enjoy it for sure. Uh, Elizabeth, for now, thank you very much. We'll chat again later, I know. Uh, let's have a tune, and then we're going to go... Where are we going to go after this? We're going to wander out, I think. To, oh, yeah, we're going to go out to front of the house. Uh, Sean's out there waiting for us, and Marjorie, who's been sitting very quietly here with us, will go out uh, and chat out there as well. Uh, right after this from Cher.